Hello, my dear students. Hope all of you are very fine. This is our seventh week of this semester. And uh, in this week, we are going to do a uh, six number lab, which is the multiplexer. This week, we are going to build a demultiplexer using logism. Now, I would like to um, discuss about what is demultiplexer and its very basic things. Now, uh, demultiplexer is a combinational circuit which performs the reverse operation of multiplexer. Uh, we already know that in case of multiplexer, we use total 2 to the power n inputs, maximum 2 to the power n inputs, and we get uh, uh, n output. But in case of demultiplexer, uh, it has single input, that means n selection lines, and a maximum of 2 to the power n outputs, which is the reverse of uh, each other's. The input will be connected to one of these outputs based on the values of the selection line. That means uh, there are n selection lines. There will be 2 to the power n for possible combinations of zeros and ones. So each combination can select only one output. Demultiplexer, uh, sometimes called Dmax. This is the circuit diagram of D multiplexer where we see that uh, two selected lines S1 and S2 is present here and um, four output lines that is Y0 to Y3 and uh, this is the one to four uh, lines D multiplexer and one um, data input. Okay, uh, now uh, let me explain the truth table. Mm, as it is a 1 to 4 line demultiplexer, it uses two selected lines, uh, S1 and S2, to determine which one of the four outputs, that means Y0 to Y3, is routed from the input I. Mm. Okay, its characteristics can be described in this um, simplified truth table. Okay, in this truth table, we see that when the both selection lines are zero, then uh, only Y0 uh, gives us high input. The rest are the three outputs are zero. Three output lines are zero. And uh, when um, the selection lines are vice versa, in that cases, we see that um, either Y1 or I2 uh, will be output, uh, will be give us a high output line, that is 1, otherwise they are 0. And when the both selection lines um, one that means uh, um, both selection lines are activated high then that time we get y3 will be one okay now uh, there are some question arises in case of the multiplexer um, before that i would like to tell something uh, the very important notes for the multiplexer is that um, always change the selection inputs. That means um, S1 and S2. Then I uh, change the input and observe that it is routed to the selected output. That means Y0 to Y3. And then uh, finally, larger uh, demultiplexer can be constructed by changing smaller demultiplexer together. Mm, that means that we can uh, uh, 
is a one to four DMAX uh, circuit, and we can build a one to eight DMAX circuit the very um, easily. Okay, now, uh, now I would like to discuss about the basic questions about demultiplexer. Now, first question is uh, which circuit has a demultiplexer? Actually, demultiplexer are mainly used in Boolean uh, function generators and decoder circuits. Different input or output um, configuration demultiplexers are available in the form of single integrated circuits. Also, the facility of cascading to a more uh, integrated circuit helps to generate multiple output demultiplexers. The next question is, what is the use of the multiplexer? Uh, actually, the multiplexer is used to connect a single source to multiple destinations. This means that the main application area of the multiplexer is communication system where, the, uh, where multiplexer are used. Most of the communication system are bidirectional. That is, they function in both ways, uh, which means that transmitting and receiving signals. And the third question is, what is the difference between multiplexer and demultiplexer? Uh, actually, there are lots of differences between multiplexer and demultiplexer, but in uh, uh, this slide, uh, I would like to discuss the main difference between multiplexer and demultiplexer. A multiplexer is a combinational circuit that provides single output but accepts multiple data inputs. And in case of demultiplexer, it is a combinational circuit that takes single input but that input can be directed through multiple outputs. It has multiple inputs and one output. It has one input and multiple outputs. Okay, mm, I think uh, all of you um, have gathered a very clear idea about the uh, multiplexer and uh, also the this lecture. Okay, thank you all uh, for this week. And I hope all of you understand. Mm. And I see you on your uh, live class. Uh, till then, all of you mm, be safe and stay safe. Thank you all.